Oh, hey there! Welcome back! Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending where you are. Golly, uh, how you guys doing out there? We doing, we doing all right? Happy Tubes Day to ya! Uh, we we got some some uh, rock liquors in the chat today. I see. Yep. Or even some minerals. Can't blame ya. Tapping into your inner goat, you know? <laughs> oh man, what a, what a day, what a week. Oh gosh. It's been, it's been eventful so far, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> uh, what, I guess, I guess I would have seen most of you last on, um, I guess that would have been Saturday, wow. So, real exciting, real exciting stuff since then. Golly, uh, well, I, I forgot, um, you know, what it was like to be a real person in the real world. Uh, and by that I mean, like, uh, like I forgot what time is, you know, like what time means that it like, that it's like, uh, like how to keep track of it, sort of, you know? So like I had a doctor's appointment this morning, Tuesday, you know, uh, woke up, was totally convinced it was Monday. Like the first time in like six months where time has mattered and I messed it up. <laughs> like straight up lost a day, lost a day. Uh, I don't know if if any of you can relate to that, but these uh, these pandemic days got me got me rethinking time. The whole the whole concept of it, really, you know, like little little rusty when it comes to uh, to time. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's really just 
it's just a construct. Time is just a construct, man. <laughs> like when you think about it, like we, it's not a real thing. We made that shit up, dude. It's crazy when you think about it. Um. Oh yeah. So, feel, feel felt like a little bit of a ding dong. Um. You know, this and that, <laughs> getting the freaking day wrong. But you know, it happens. You, uh, have a, I got it like all of a sudden, just so busy. Such a busy day. Such a busy week, rather. And uh, I don't know what it is. I feel like, like, anxiety about having things to do. That's, that's like kind of where I'm at, you know, having done basically nothing for the, for the last six months. <laughs> Uh yeah. Uh but no worries. I got I got I rescheduled the appointment for tomorrow morning. Uh so that's that's fun. Um <laughs> But yeah, anyway. Uh Yeah, got to I guess I got I need like a calendar, man. I need to look at my calendar. I have a calendar, but whatever, you know. Who cares? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday now. And we're here in the cone zone having a great time. We're gonna play some freaking goat simulator today. I'm <laughs> real excited about this. Like, I've been doing, I've been just crushing the, uh, the absurd games. Like, back to back to back. We've been doing Octodad, uh, I Am Bread, Goat Simulator. Man, where are we gonna, where are we gonna go to next? You know? But, um,. Yeah, it's. I think it's time to uh, to rock the goat. Don't tip the goat over, but let's rock the goat. You know what I mean? Wait. Okay, there. I spent like five minutes staring at the stream title, like trying to figure out a clever, a clever goat thing. Uh, before like before going live, and. Um, I just I just said it right now. I just said it. So I'm just uh, gonna go ahead and <laughs> take the liberty of changing that. Rock the goat. Don't tip the goat over. Let's rock the goat. All right, there it is. Ha! <laughs> got it. Uh, yes, a oh, goose game is another one that's on my that's on my to-do list. Don't you worry oh, But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to a little bit of insane Mindless fun with this game. Let me tell you because uh, I feel like I feel like I need it. It's been been going hard, you know feeling being busy all of a sudden after all this time is it's weird, man. It's weird. But uh, yeah, before we dive right in, let's let's take a quick uh, quick peek. We got a couple of shadows right off the top. Oh, you know, you know how we do. We're going to shout it out. Going to shout it out. Shout it out to Kiki Lama. Kiki Lama, oh yeah. Kiki Lama, thank you so much. And. Oh, everyone else, welcome to the Cone Zone. Welcome, everybody. And uh, Kiki Lama, you know I'm gonna be given, I'm gonna give that uh, that goober, that that gooby dog, some scratches, some cuddles and snoot boops for you. Coming right up. And okay, we got. <laughs> Blaze. Blingity blaze. Normally we, we receive we receive cat facts, but today we're we're getting spoiled with a goat fact from Blingity Blaze. Uh uh goat fact goats and sheep can interbreed. The result is called a geep. I don't. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I don't believe you there. What are you gonna tell me that lions and tigers can can interbreed? What would you call a liger? What? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> geeps, uh, geeps. Or would it be a jeep? Is that where they? Is that where the car gets the name from? All these answers and more coming up. Never. 
Oh, hey, look. Oh, this is cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's your first cone zone. Cone zone for midge. For midge. For midge. For midge. For midge. For midge. Thank you, midge. Midge. <laughs> hey, it's your first cone zone. Welcome. Hey, that's so fun. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> um, amazing. Great to have you with us. Welcome. Welcome to the zone. And okay, onwards we go. Oh. Yep, it's up next. Going out to skull. It's going out to skull. It's going out to skull. It's going out to skull. Let's go. Thank you so much. Um, this game is is dumb as shit and I did know about the DLC I just found out today in fact there's uh, the zombie the zombie uh, uh, DLC and there's a space DLC as well um, uh, <laughs> go it's called goat Z goat Z uh, which I assume it's a play on uh, Daisy, yes? Yes, yes, oh my gosh. Hey, I, I, yeah, we got, we got, it looks like we got a couple new nerds in the house tonight. Hey, uh, Alan Kazam, what's up? Uh, any, uh, any other new nerds out there? Midge, Alan, welcome everyone. Welcome, one and all. The cone zone, we're gonna get r real silly. Real silly with the goat uh, simulator today. It's, it's the most realistic goat simulator simulator that's ever been made, uh, which is a real uh, it's a real accolade, you know, when you think about it. Of all the goat simulators that have ever been made, this one is the most accurate. It's very cool. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, and onward we go to. Uh, oh. Uh, we've got that Shiro, 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 Shiro It's that Shiro Misa, yeah Shiro! Hey, uh, welcome back Um Your grandparents used to have goats on their farm and chimkins Dude, baby goats Out of control cute, right? Yes Oh, man Oh, they're just so cute. I I've been to I've been to petting zoos before and gosh, the little the little tykes. Oh man. Could you imagine Gooby at a petting zoo? At any zoo? Just he would lose his frickin' mind. Oh he would He's he's a singular kind of pup. Oh man. <laughs> I, I wonder I wonder how he would interact with the baby goat, you know? He'd be like, what? What? Why is this dog making those sounds? This is a weird looking dog. I don't get it. I don't like it. But that's just, it could be like that. He'd be like that. It do be like that. All right. Rose is a sex bang song. Uh, yeah, so excited for Ghost Simulator. Uh, if I had a goat, what would I name my goat? Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, I would. It would have to be. It would have to be. Oh, you know, done. One hundred percent. Black Philip. Whether or not he was black or or not, Black Philip. Who knows where that's from? Who, who knows where that's from? Points. Points if you know where that's... Uh... Somebody say it. Somebody say it. Yes. Bat Child wins! <laughs> oh, man. The, from the witch, uh, Black Phillip is the... I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. But if you haven't seen The Witch, that is my favorite horror movie, I think, of all time. Uh, and it is... Uh, so good uh, so good and there's let's just say there's some goats in it <laughs> um man that makes me just want to get a goat now just so i can have black philip around 
Might be a little touch and go with Gooby. Oh, but who knows until you try, right? It's that clockwork bug. It's that clockwork bug. It's that clockwork bug. It's that clockwork bug. Clockwork bug. How are you doing today? Um. <clears throat> Uh, does Half still have the 808 in his chest? You better believe it. Uh, he's expanded uh, upon it, though. The, the, he's got a, a few different uh, drum machines at his disposal now, not just the 808. He's upgraded. He's upgraded that hardware. Um, and, okay, here we go. Here we go. Super rocket, super rocket, super rocket, super rocket, super rocket, super rocket. A SIP rocket, or S S Y P rocket. Uh, hey, we got another new nerd! Holy shit, SIP rocket. Sipe, Sipe rocket. Tuning in from Scotland. Hell yeah, that is so rad. Thanks so much, great to see you here. <laughs> oh man, I love that. That's so freaking cool. I love having new people around, it's so cool! Especially when they're from all over the world. Man, it gets me so jazzed. Oh man. Very cool. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Um Bunny Bunny Bumati, Bunny Bunny Bumati, Bunny Bunny Bumati, it's Bunny Bumati. Bunny Bumati. Bunny Bumati. How are ya? <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Great to have you here again. Um Ooh, Bunny Bumati would like to share a, a goat joke with us today, but but they're just feeling a little sheepish. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Get out of here with that. Get out. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Security. All right. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, it's not Sarah, Sarah, we yeah. A Sarah Scarra. Hey. Uh, how are you? Uh, I should do my own garden or mini greenhouse. I would love to. You know, I I have never really lived in a place that um, where that would be like practical or feasible. But that's definitely a life goal. Like we know from the Stardew Valley days that one of my life goals have an urban chicken coop. You know, have my own freaking chickens. And I would call, I would only call them the frickin' chickens. Ah, just go grab an egg from the frickin' chickens. And, uh, my other, another life goal would be to have, like, some sort of food-producing garden. Uh, I love the idea of growing my own food and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> that's kind of a, kind of a problem with being a, uh, a touring musician. You're, uh... <laughs> You're leaving stuff behind all the time uh, at home. So uh, I need somebody to water Rufus. Uh, and it's, it's a lot to ask to have that same person watering plants as well as watering Rufus when I'm gone. I don't know. But someday, someday I will. Um, uh, thank you so much, Sarah. Let's go. We've got those guitar jams, it's those guitar jams. We've got those guitar jams, it's the guitar jams. Guitar jams, how are ya? Um, oh, uh, tried to think of a good, uh, guitar jams, tried to think of a good goat pun, but everything that came to mind was utterly terrible. Utter was spelled with two Ds, uh, in case you missed that, folks. Uh, I know, I know. I was thinking about how perfect this game would be to play on Ritual Night with Baphomet watching over Baphomet's watching over us, uh, him being part goat and all. But um, you know, you know how we do. You know how we do. Anyway, folks, we've received uh, a couple more, a few more um, sh uh, donations uh, to. Uh, wait, one sec. Oh, I thought I... Never mind. We've received a few more donations, but we're going to get to those shadows in just a moment. Um, we're going to play a little bit of uh, a little bit of the goat sim right now. 
<laughs> uh, and we'll we'll take a, another quick break in just a little bit after a little bit of our goat sim. So let's freaking do this. I need I need I need I need this right now, folks. Mm. Let's freaking do it. Oh man, this game. I so excited. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh. Um, is it gonna load? There it goes. Okay. Okay, so folks. <laughs> uh what the heck now? Where should we go? Did we ever play GOAT MMO Simulator? I don't think we ever did. I played this on stream, I think, once before, but hmm. Goat MMO Simulator, what the hell? Hmm. MMO, oh my god. We get to choose our class? Oh man. <laughs> okay. Hunter, should we be. Let's see. A magician? A magician's pretty close to. Uh, necromancer. So let's give that a shot. Uh, chosen children are visited by a person in a red costume and white beard during the winter. They are given a magic box full of all kinds of specials, such as card decks, hat with a hidden department in, and a plastic wand. Okay. I don't. I don't know. What, I don't even know what to pick. Let's. Uh, do we do it? Let's just go for it. Okay. Here, let's do it. Heck it! Okay. <laughs> Q for ragdoll. E for lick. Oh my god. So wait, are we playing with other goats right now? Oh my god. Is this is this happening? <laughs> okay. Oh man. <laughs> the rouge. I think they uh, tried to say rogue there, but uh, gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what the hell? This is the microwaves are the most evil constructs in this world. They are pure chaotic evil and revel in chaos and destruction using their evil powers to imbue food with entropy. Their purpose in this world is to create a black hole to consume the entire universe, but so far they've only reached a point where the molecules in the food move more rapidly, causing it to heat up. One day, the microwaves will consume both, consume both the living and the dead. Microwaves' two abilities are pizza and explosion. Oh, man, what should I do? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Who do I pick? Oh man. <laughs> okay, let's Magician, okay. Jacob Jacobson, okay. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my god. There are there are other goats. This is incredible. Is this actually a person? I can't, I can't tell. Press ba. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This, these aren't, these can't actually be people. This is. Uh, these can't, this can't be. Oh, oh my god, it's just a cat. <laughs> This is insane. Acquired new quest. Oh my god. This is incredible. Oh my god. I <laughs> Press one to save parchment to image it. <laughs> this is insane. Uh. This is insane.
Oh, okay, so... Okay, this is... <laughs> oh my god! I love this. Wow. Adventurer's Path. Wait, okay, so... Bring Greta her soda. How do I check? Oops. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, it's just, <laughs> just crumpling. Oh my god. I love this. <laughs> oh man. He, yeah, he was. See, he was a merchant before he took a goat to the knee. Oh my god. This is one this is one bad goat folks. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, so S left mouse button is RAM. Okay. Uh S plus the What does that do? Wait, okay, what is this going on in chat? Oh my god, this is... This is not real. This is so incredible. This is so incredible. All, the, all this text, all this chat, this is programmed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this game. This is the perfect game, folks. I take it back. I know I said Octodad was the perfect game, and then I said I Am Bread is the perfect game. But this, this is the perfect game. <laughs> oh, man. Lady Deathstrike. Goatshire. Oh, yeah. Look at... Okay, this guy's got a quest for me. Hello, mighty hero. I am in dire need of a heroic being such as yourself. So I gotta bring apples to him? Oops, oops. I fired the quest. I gotta. <laughs> oh my god. A qu unlocked a new armor piece. So wait, I, how do I get these? Do, oh, I see. I gotta lick the apple. I gotta lick the apple. And then press one. Got it. Got it. Lick it. Lick it, and one. Oops. Oh my god. What the hell is that? What? What's going on now? Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm t typing in chat. Oops. I was... <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. Uh, five apples. We brought him five apples. And then we received an apple? Oh my god, this guy is he's vibing so hard. Look at this guy. I strive to to reach this 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 level of of vibes. <laughs> Steve works. Oh my god. <laughs> this goat is a, such a piece of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hey, lady. <laughs> oh my god. Man, this gun has got some power in him, man. Oh my god. Did you see those guys go fight? Can I go inside? Wait, what does R do? Oh my god, I shoot fireballs? 
Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, I'm level three also. Isn't that sweet? Oh. Huh. Wow. What is this going on over here? Gold harvest golem. Oh my god. Just crush that golem, dude. Wow. Oh, wow. Wait, I'm on fire? Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. What do I do? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, wow, there's a ton of a ton of golems out here. I guess we're just I wonder if if my <laughs> I can just do my magic trick and and they die. Get them all. I am Black Philip. You shall feel the wrath of my fireballs! Get out of here. I wonder if I can I lick him? Let's go lick him. Let's go lick him. Oops. Oh, no, I can't lick him. But can I ram him? Oh, I'm gonna ram the shit out of him. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Just, uh. Making the land a safer place. Uh, p save lightning pandemonium to input. Let's do that. Okay. What was this a quest? Yeah, we got ourselves a quest, folks. Oh, I am so screwed. I was supposed to get this stuff to the city, and this damn stick got stuck in the wheel. <laughs> I don't have the arm strength to remove it. Okay, let's take a, let's take a stab at this at this guy's name. Henedrenidnel. Henedrenidnel. Flaren. Okay then. Whoa! That, that horse came out of nowhere. Whoa! Remove the troublesome stick from the cartwheel. I, I think we just succeeded in doing so. And then some cart repair complete. Oh, dude, what is this now? Whoa, goat wind wall. This looks like this looks like a. This looks like a freaking uh, dungeon here. Hold it, citizen. Because our security measures and a lack of time to implement a system that transfers items between maps, you can't take your inventory with you. I have to hold on to your things while you are in there, but I don't have anything to put them in. Get me something that can store a bunch of items. Okay. His name is Isengard. Hey. Okay. Here we go. Let's go find a chest or a backpack or something. Whoa, what is this? Oh. Eat it, nerds. Are you what the hell are these things? They are people? They're people <laughs> in bear in bear onesies. Incredible. Now this I can get into. See now this is the kind of action I I want in my games, you know? Like this is a lot of AAA titles can't can't deliver on this, but here here this is Goat Simulator, the perfect game. Wow. 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 I need I need to. Hero. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. Acquired new quest. I hate bears. Kill ten bears. Wow, the bears just keep spawning, don't they?
Got him. Leveled up. <laughs> oh my god, the, the fucking bears are just nerds and Oh my god, this is so this is so good. Completed. This guy this guy's also vibing so hard. Oh my god. It's incredible. Okay, whoa, we've got we have Okay, what's going on here? We've got some water, folks. What kind of... Twistrum! Oh my god, it's, it's called Twistrum! Oh! <laughs> that guy just fucking... <laughs> oh my god, what is going on here? This is your one chance to feel like an authentic witch! Oh, we just burn ourselves. Incredible. It's the perfect game, folks. Karate Master. Let's see whose Kung Fu is superior. Gotcha. This is incredible. Jesus Christ! Wow. Oh, what's, what do we have here? Oh, these are these are the things to store our shit in. Yes. <laughs> Dumbledore the Gray. Oh my God. Whoa! Easy now. Is this up? Bring a demon horn to Dumbledore. <laughs> but I lack a single crucial ingredient, a demonic horn. Can you venture into old goat mountain and obtain one? For you, Dumbledore, anything! <laughs> this is incredible! Okay. So I can save I can save all of these things to my to my inventory. Look, I've got I'm just gonna abduct all of the townspeople. And and uh keep them in my inventory. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dude. I'll bring the town with me. Alright, well I guess we're gonna go back to the uh I guess we're gonna go back to the uh that gate thing. And uh go into goat wind whatever the hell that was. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, here it is. Here we go. Let's go talk to our buddy Isengard. All right, hold on to your I'll hold on to your stuff for you while you are in the city. You'll get him back later. Okay. Transportation Security Administration. Here we go. Uh, I guess let's go. What have we got here? Oh! <laughs> I fucked with the city guards just like in Skyrim and now I'm a fugitive. Please, somebody help get me out of this thing. <laughs> help him out of the stock. I got you, buddy. Fantastic. Is Did I get him? I, I thought I 
Hey, buddy. Whoa! I am. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my god. Is it... Where where did the guy go? How did... Oh. Did I kill him by accident? Uh-oh. I think maybe I did. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened. Joaquin Boulder Gauntlet. Nice. Hey, you! You go over there. Do you think you could do me a solid and help me out here? I was about to inflate my... I was about to inflate my knee. Gotta jump on this, okay? Inflate his knee? I'm inflating his knee, folks. Here it is. <laughs> and then he floats away. Oh my god. This game is insane. Oh my god. Where to help? Where's this guy? I guess I did accidentally murder him. I guess I must have. <laughs> There's fruit here, eh? Whoa! And so much power, man. This goat is like a supreme being. Oh, what do we got here? What's this now, huh? Greetings, young apprentice. I look at you and I see somebody who is ready. An apprentice who is ready for the final test. To overcome and to transcend your own intellect. You are ready to be a wizard. Yes. There's one task left. You must scourge yourself upon our sacred food. Eat 10 chips and drink 10 sodas. <laughs> Wizard Ascension is our quest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? Here, folks. I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna adjust my camera slightly so that you can see. There we go. You can see the quest. So I got a so wizard ascension as you can see on the right there eat 10 chips and drink 10 sodas All right, so Oh, there's There's some chips right there nice uh, Oh, there's a soda there's a soda Nice Let's See that's me Oh my god. That's such an awful sound. <laughs> hmm. Where else? I need... So that I need so much more soda. sure where to find more soda and potato chips in a medieval town, you know? Oh my god, this is... This is... It's just incredible. <laughs> is Wizard Ascension? Dudes, this game gets me! This game friggin' gets me. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's incredible. It's perfect. It's the perfect game, folks. They finally did it. And I know I've said that before. I know I've said that before. But I think this time, I think they finally did it for realsies. Um, incredible. 
All right. Hey, we're going to have a little quick break, a little message from our sponsors here. Oh, yeah. We're going to shout it out. We're going to shout it out. We're shouting it out to Looney Loon. Shouting it out to Looney Loon. Looney Loon? Hey. Happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Looney Loon shared the, the last twerp show with uh, with your new roommate, and she seemed to love it despite being mildly concerned that it's a cult. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's not it's not a cult. No, I mean, if she's if she's at all interested in ascending, uh, I don't think she should be concerned about that whatsoever. Really, you know, uh, I don't understand. How we could have given that impression that it would be a cult you know like i just don't understand I, I i can't i can't understand where she's coming from but i hope she's having a uh a, a good time with it i hope she's ascending safely you know um <laughs> thank you very much oh robin 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 chen robin 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 chen 33 robin chen 33 <laughs> A Robin Chan, a 33. <laughs> um, oh, I'm listening, Robin. Thank you. Oh, so, something's getting sent to the PO box. Ooh, exciting. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll be. I'll be sure to. Uh, to check that PO box soon. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited for that. I can't wait. Oh golly. Yeah. bug. Escher bug. How are ya? Ah, uh, thank you so much. I hope your week's going great too. Uh, a goat joke from Escher bug. One of the original joke boats. Here we go. I saw a cartoon portraying a politician like a goat. It was Satyr. Oh. Oh, man. Is that how you say that's Satyr? Satyr? Satire? Satyr? Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm quite into that. I'm quite into that joke. That's, that's great. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, onwards we got, uh... Salt lobster, it's salt lobster, salt lobster, salt lobster, yeah. Salt lobster! Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> good to have you back. Um, if, if uh, salt lobster asks, if I, if I was not a, a necromancer, what magic would I dabble in instead? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I would probably go with, um. Uh, what would be, what, what is the, what is the, what is the school of magic that a druid, uh, yields like druidism what like what is like what is like the the like forest magic you know what is that what what would you call it is that like uh somebody help me out here nature magic druidic magic druidism basically I, I I don't know. I've got a penchant. I've got a penchant for uh, for summons. You know, I, I like summoning. I like I like having uh, my friends around. You know, um, so like if I could like become like a a wolf or a bear or summon a wolf or a bear and like that kind of shit, be pretty pretty into that. And like um, you know, I could like cast like root like root traps and like things like this. You know. Or, or, oh no! The, the that school of magic I just remembered. It's called veganism. Veganism. Um, 
I guess conjuration, yeah. Conjuration, transmutation, veganism. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, vegans can summon bears, man. Yeah. Tregan. Oh, man. Tregan. Treganism. <laughs> <laughs> vegan bears i mean bears bears are omnivorous so uh th i mean that's that's why bears that's that's why bears can't wield magic <laughs> obviously um in enviromancy enviromancy space kid i think you're onto something there nailed it <laughs> Uh, anyway, onwards we must go. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Hey. Baby bees, baby bees, baby bees. Thank you. Bailey B. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, ooh, uh, sent the pack, sent the package, and it should arrive on Friday. Amazing. Uh, now, Bailey B's question is, what is my power pose? Um, you know what? I've been, I've got a few, I've got a few. One would be like this. That's, uh, anybody know where this, where this hand signal, uh, is from? Like, major points if anybody knows what that symbol is from. Uh, I, I don't think anybody's gonna get this. I don't think anybody's gonna... <laughs> um, and the sound, the sound effects are 100% Mandarin. <laughs> who, who, who does a power pose and doesn't make sound effects? That's just called a pose, dude. A pose, a power pose without sound effect is just a pose. Lumlight, Lumlight nailed it. Lumlight, oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. I'm really impressed. That is the symbol of the Wing Kong. They're the good guys, Jack. Um, big trouble in Little China, it is. <laughs> oh man, I'm impressed. That was, that's a bit of a that's, a... that's a deep cut right there. That is some... Uh, wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. Good job. Good job, Lumlight. <laughs> um, I, I think a couple of you... Uh, yeah, I know a few of you were thinking of it. Mortal Man, you just got beat to the punch. Um, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's that is my favorite movie. Big Trouble in Little China is my favorite movie. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay? That it's... If you, when you watch that movie... You'll be like, oh, of course Dr. Sung likes this movie. Um, it's, it's so great. It, it is legitimately something you should watch. It is, it is uh, one of John Carpenter's, like, it, it's, a cult, it's a cult classic movie. Um, and it's, it's one of John Carpenter's, like, it's just John Carpenter having fun, having the most fun. And it is, it is just, it is, it's basically, it is the perfect movie. I know I've said that a lot. It's the perfect movie, but I know I've said that about a couple movies, you know, uh, but yeah, no, it's the perfect movie. Um, and anyway, so my power post, um, uh, does one need to drink to watch Big Trouble in Little China? Uh, not necessarily, but I will say that it makes an incredible drinking game. Uh, I would know that because I have been to so many showings, so many like late night showings of Big Trouble in Little China, and it is just like, it's just, it's just fun, man. It is so good. Um, anyway, uh, what was I doing? Shout outs, right. Um, how did we get, how did we get on this topic now? Uh, the power pose ring. Yeah, got it. Nice. Hey! Rabbi, 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 oh yeah! Rabbi, 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 oh yeah! Rabbi, oh! 
Iravi. Iravi. Thank you so much. Oh, Iravi. Stay strong there. Thank you so much for for, for being here. And uh, I'm I'm glad Torp can be can be helping you out in a, in a tough time. Um and uh, I hope I hope everything I hope everything turns out in your favor. It's keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. Thank you so much, Ravi. Um uh, and I have not checked out the game Fall Guys. Fall Guys, eh? Oh. Interesting. I've not heard of that. Take take a look see in that later. Um all right. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, do it. Okay. So, all right, here we go. Are you okay? That is, I, I, I see some people in chat talking about watching the late night movie. If you guys are thinking about watching, is it big trouble? Is it big trouble? What time you guys thinking about? Uh, anyway, whatever it is, I think that's a great idea. It's a, it's just a fantastic idea, uh, especially because no no twerp show right no twerp show this week. Hell yeah! Um, honestly, I'm jealous. I wish I could, <laughs> wish I could go to a late night screening. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> uh, honestly, and if, if if you're if you're swirling, if you are gonna swirl and watch that movie, I would recommend looking up, uh, looking up uh, a, a Big Trouble Little China drinking game. It's you will not be disappointed. You're gonna have a great time. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll let you guys coordinate that. Love this idea. Love what's going on here. Just just warms my heart. Um, okay. Oh, God. Totally not skull, totally not skull, totally not skull, it's totally not skull. It's totally not skull, and totally not skull is, uh, a totally amazing baker. Uh, as a totally amazing baker, they donut need, K-N-E-A-D, donut need to say, but here's more dough. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh. Oof. I bet you've been I bet you've been formulating that all weekend. You scoundrel. Scoundrel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Friday child is that Friday child is that Friday child is that Friday child. Friday is child. How are you now? Um do I have any favorite metal albums? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Let me tell you. Um, mm, Obzen by Meshuggah. That is the most ins... It is insane. It is insane. Uh, the drumming in particular, insane. Um, Obzen by Meshuggah. Also, uh, this band called Gojira... Uh, they're like a French enviro metal band, like yes, enviro metal. All of their their music is like it's a conceptual about like the the earth and like earth healing itself and like from the perspective of like you know the whales and shit. It's crazy. It's it's so cool and it's like it's like heavy as balls. And it's got, like, this really, like, cool, um, sort of, like, positive, like, environmental theme about it. Anyway, the band is called Gojira, and what is, what would be an album I would recommend? Um, um, shit, what is it called? The one with the whale on the front. What is it called? Is it Ouroboros? Gojira albums. Let me let me just. I gotta find it. Oh, from Mars, from Mars to Sirius. From Mars to Sirius is awesome. So is the Way of All Flesh. Oh, well, they've got a bunch of albums that I haven't listened to. Anyway, uh, there you go. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, thank you very much. That's a cool question. Thank you. Um, Crystal lens, crystal lens, yeah. Crystal lens, crystal lens, yeah. Crystal lens, crystal lens, yeah. It's the crystal lens. Crystal lens. Thank you so much. Um, what's my favorite song to play on the talk box? Crystal lens asks. Oh. Hmm. What? I mean, of of the twerp songs, um, probably hidden potential, because it's got some pretty sweet ass like uh, talk box fills, I guess. In it, uh, it's fun. It's fun. Um, Non non twerp songs, uh, Heartbreaker. I think Heartbreaker by by Zap and Roger is like the best talk box the best talk box song ever made. Heartbreaker by Zap. Oh, so nasty. Uh, thank you. Very cool question. Thanks, Crystal Lens. Somebody, wait, somebody somewhere told me this about you, baby. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -boop 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 -boop. Heartbreaker. <laughs> I don't care what those other people say. I'm gonna love you anyway. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -boop 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 -boop. Heartbreaker. <laughs> you know, like something like that. Uh, yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, this joke. This joke. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Oh my god. All right. Uh, Sarah Stara says if a goat had a mastectomy, does that translate to yeet the tea? Because we were saying last week. Eat the wheat with the iron bread. I I get it. I get it, and I approve. My name is Doctor Sung, and I approve of this joke. Uh, <laughs> so so when we're playing I am bread, eat the wheat. When we're playing Goat Simulator, I am when we're playing I am goat. There it is. Eat the tea. Nice. Nice. Barclay 523, it's that Barclay 523, it's that Barclay 523, it's that Barclay 523. <laughs> Barclay 523, um, start working on your cosplay, cool. Any tips on making the modern cone? Uh, dude, I, this... I I am not qualified to construct uh, a, a a pine cone of such magnificence. Like this silly hat, this silly hat was the product of m millennia of development. Um, it is so advanced. I, I can't. I honestly do not have any <laughs> insight into uh, how to make it. But I will give you the little little spin around, little back view uh-huh uh-huh like that maybe this is helpful mm-hmm give you the profile mm, yes dr sung silly hat 4.0 or something like that i don't know it's probably like 5 or 6.0 by now uh <laughs> uh yeah uh the, the man who made this who made this silly hat of mine is a very talented man um uh yeah thank you very much uh thank you barkley um and up next okay we got uh oh shiro shiro yeah shiro shiro yeah shiro shiro yeah shiro shiro yeah shiro misa what's up um thanks again uh your dad's garden he plants a ridiculous amount, and you have fresh tomatoes and squash and cucumbers and blueberries and potatoes and all sorts. What? You've also got two beehives? Dude, are you sure you're not uh, confusing uh, your life with 
Stardew Valley? Because that sounds fantastic. That sounds fantastical. Um, that's really cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> I'm honestly like, uh, yeah. Little, little jelly, you got so many. You got foodstuffs. You got food just growing out of the floor. You look, you step outside and you got just food all over the place, all over, just growing on the floor. It's crazy. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> right on. Thank you very much. Bad child, bad child, bad child is the bad child. Bad child, bad child, bad child is the bad child. Bad child. Thank you. Uh, evening to you as well. Uh, another chill game, Ooblets. Collect little weird creatures that have dance battles. Interesting. Ooblets. Little creatures with dance battles. You've got my attention. <laughs> Very cool. Ooblets. 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 Good to know. I, um... I will I will be in need of a of a of a new game uh following starting I guess next week because uh as I as I mentioned Torp has some engagements uh this this week so we are not uh, we're not doing the Torp show uh, I'm not streaming on Friday so starting next week I'm going to probably start a new game a new campaign and something I'm not sure what yet but uh, ooh that's Good to know. I'll I'll be I'll be taking a look at that. Hmm. Glockwork Bard uh, asks, have I ever traveled through time to visit a specific event? Uh, I mean, I traveled through time to uh, do this stream with you guys. I mean, I'm. I've I, I literally I came here for this sole purpose to do this stream for you guys. So um, the answer is yes, all the time, all the time. <laughs> uh, thank you, Clockwork Bard. Ouija, 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 it's Ouija, Ouija, oh yeah. Ouija, hey, thank you so much, Ouija. A nerd of few words, I see. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Um. <laughs> um Dante, um Dante, yeah, 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 yeah. Andante Ace uh, says, "It's a shame there's no. It's a shame there's no marital artist class in this game. I'm gonna assume that that was an autocorrect, uh, and that you meant to say martial artist class. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I." W I wonder what a what a marital artist class would be in an MMO, you know? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not being mean. I, I I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I I, I assume that it's just a t that it's just a, an autocorrect. So, but sometimes typos can yield excellent results. A merit and a marital artist is like, is it like um? What would that be like a like a like a somebody who draws still no that would be a, that would be a terrible class I take it back there's no way that that class could be good that that class would be below below the bard in terms of the sub bard in terms of uh, effectiveness. And take uh, take it from me. I'm a bard, okay. I like, I I know, I know. Oh, we got a spice. Is spicy in the house? <gasps> did I, did I see that? Doth my nubs bequeath me? I can't. Ah. Uh. Hey, there he is. 
Spicy, there he is. <laughs> um. Uh, anyway, Andante <laughs> Andante went on to to say, uh, uh, "It's a shame there's no martial artist class in this game. You could have been a karate kid." Mm. Indeed, indeed. Thanks a lot. Uh, I I will be. It's not so much going to be a, a week off coming up as a a week on. Very much a week on. A very busy week ahead. Um, got, got big things a brewing, but I. I Gonna make the most of it, absolutely. Thank you, Andante. Oh, some scary art, some scary art, some scary art, some scary art, some scary art. Some scary art. Uh, great to hear from you. Uh, moving into your college, uh, moving into your college dorm as a freshman on Sunday. <gasps> oh man. Any any advice? Listen, uh, advice. You're go, you're going to college. You're going to college. Stay positive. Be kind to others, and you will receive kindness in return. Uh, do your homework. Wear a goddamn mask. That's it. There's just four. There's just four. That's it. There's not a fifth one. Just it. That's it. Um, just, yeah, try to, honestly, try to have fun with it. Be kind to others. Be safe. And do what you are there to do, which is to get an education, do your freaking homework. Uh, I know, I know it's, it's, uh, it's nerve-wracking indeed. I totally, I totally get it. But you're going to do fine. You're going to do great. Everybody here believes in you. All right, onwards we go. Uh, we got uh, just a couple more, just a couple more, and then we're going to dive back into this insane game. All right, shouting it out now, too. Cinder and smoke, 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 cinder and smoke. Cinder and a smoke. Thank you so much. Happy Tubes Day to you as well. Uh... Conquered your big purchase anxiety and bought yourself a new bed. Dude, I have the same thing. I have big purchase anxiety. I also have little purchase anxiety. If it's, I, I can't, I, man, I can't, I, I hate spending money on myself unless it's food. Then I love spending money on food. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm excited that you're going to be able to finally sleep well again. That's freaking awesome. Um, what have been some of your little victories recently? Ah, oh, man. Um, little victories. This, honestly, so, so little has been going on. Let me just say that um, part of the reason why I'm so... Uh, I guess frazzled might be a good a good uh, description uh, and and busy part of the reason why I'm all all frazzled and busy uh, is because of um, I'm applying for a new house I'm moving again again I know it feels like I just moved because I did and it felt like I just moved before that because I did I keep freaking moving I don't want to but uh, I am I am moving to Canada back to Canada and um, so I've been moving is like the most stressful thing like uh, takes so much out of you um, and so much of your attention and effort for a while so that's part of anyway the question is what is a little victory uh, I've I submitted an application for a place that I, that I really like and I, while it's not a victory, it could be. It could be a victory. It felt having having for like weeks been searching for a place to live uh, and then applying for it. That felt like a little victory. Now getting the place that would be a big victory. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So 
anyway yeah uh yeah canada is uh once again in my in my near future and it's anyway we're not here to talk about that um but yeah it's uh busy exciting crazy times uh <laughs> presently absolutely um okay here we go here we go folks uh, we're gonna take a take a, a break from from those shoutouts. We just got a few more come in while we were doing those ones, but we're gonna get to those in just a mo. After we uh, play some more Goat Simulator MMO Edition, <laughs> this is this game is insane. This game is insane. But thank you, very, thank you all, everybody, so much um, uh, for the for the well wishes. Yeah, I, I wasn't. Uh, yeah. I wasn't anticipating uh sharing uh, that information just yet, but it's it's really honestly been consuming me for a while. Um cuz as it does as moves do, it's like crazy. Uh anyway, enough enough serious talk. <laughs> Let's freaking play us some goat sim uh <laughs> that's right that's right spice I'll, I'll drop that bong walk away it's not like it even matters dude it's not like anybody saw me it's not like i left my house anyway i can i can stay inside perfectly sequestered on my own anywhere i want in the world <laughs> yeah but i i know it's a, it's a crazy it's it's a crazy it is a crazy <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's break it. Let's game, dudes. Is it okay if you guys if we game? Freaking game. So we're in goat wind right now. <laughs> okay. Um. So this is us. Oh my god, that is like just a great shot. Ooh, look at that goat. Look at us, look at us go. Okay, so we need to eat more chips and drink more sodas. <laughs> I didn't even, I <laughs> didn't do shit. Oh man. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, the, sh the, the outfit is insane. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where the heck do I find more chips and soda? Need more chips and soda. Oh, there's some. Nice. Nice. Give me your chips. What are you guys, what are you nerds doing over here? Maybe I can help out with... Ramming speed! Oh! Uh, so terribly sorry! Oh! Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, golly. This is... <laughs> oh my god. Crispy humans. Crispy, crispy humans. Dominic Horvat. What is this place? Isengard. Hello. Oh, there's chips. I am eating more chips. Eat, eat, eat the chips. Eat the chips. Eat the chips. There we go. Okay, so we need. Oops. Oh no. Are you? Are you? Are you upset at me, guard? Town guard. I'm sorry. I honestly didn't mean to do that. I honestly did not. You saw that, folks. I didn't mean to do it. This is like a pretty convincing, a pretty good little, like, RPG town <laughs> that this derpy game has made. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, there's some soda. Nice. We got eight more to go, folks. We gotta find more chips and soda. Going on up here, bro. It's got a nice, nice little balcony. Sweet pad, dude. 
Okay, so. Huh. So that's that's where I need to go once I have completed my quest to eat and drink soda and chips. There we go. There we go. There's soda right there. Whoops. <laughs> Level nine. Whatever the hell that means in this game. Okay. Chips. Yes. Nice. Three more to go, folks. Oh my god, what nightmare fuel is this now? Just go straight through. Maybe, can I help you out with a fireball? Yeah, I did help her out. You're right, I am a nice guy. Oh, ho. whoa, whoa now. Whoa. Whoa! There, okay, two more. <gasps> two more! Okay. Oh, and I see him right here. Nice. Nice, we did it. Oh man, I feel totally <gasps> ascendant. <clears throat> and this is... Yes. Oh, dude, we're going to become a wizard. You have now ascended. You are now enlightened by your own intellect. You are now euphoric. Tips wizard hat. Hell yeah, dudes. We did it. this oh this is this guy yeah he's dead right we've already established that maybe I can maybe I can make him undead with my new wizard skills with fireballs oh my god <laughs> wow I accidentally oh no yeah he's still gone okay uh, sir, no, there's no map. Of course not. Why would there be a map? Because <laughs> just gonna keep exploring. Ridiculous. Oh my god. This game just this game gets me, man. Oh. 
What the hell just happened? What just happened? It just teleported me somewhere. What the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> am I inside the auctioneer's mind? Is this what it's like? This is okay, I guess we're just only... One way to go! Holy shit. What the fuck? This is... Unreal, okay. So we just got teleported to a floating house. By the ocean. Is this supposed to happen? Where the fuck are we, man? Also, why is the auctioneer like in our head right now? <laughs> the guy is still going. Oh my god. This is. This is insane. Wait, there's an invisible wall right here. Alright, uh, did, did we just break this game? I think we just broke this game. I'm, s I'm baffled. So there's an invisible wall right here. <laughs> this is just so full of wonder. Just incredible. Alright, so I think we're outside of the town. Like, this is. Okay, I think I, I think the invisible wall is the same wall that keeps you inside the town when you're in the town. Because right now, I am stuck. Think. Yeah, see, look. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this thing? This is insane! Oh my god, he won't stop! He won't stop! <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing at you, Auction Man! I thought... I thought... You were good at your job. Oh god. This is... I... I don't even... I don't... <laughs> don't know, man. Whoa! We just floated through that wall. <laughs> okay, so there's the floating house. So... What I want to know is... Okay, I have a theory, folks. I've got a theory. My theory is that that floating house is my inventory. It's like a, a physical manifestation of my inventory. And somehow I got teleported to it. Uh, by storing the auctioned items in my inventory? Or it's where, yeah, maybe, maybe it's where the auctioneer pulls his items from. I don't know what to do here, dudes. I think we might be screwed. Maybe respawn? But now we're still, we're still stuck in the auctioneering house. What is going on? We gotta murder this man. We gotta murder him. Oh, going back in and then out again, fix it. Woo! Uh, yeah, I think I stored myself in my inventory.
I think that's I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, do a high five. Do a high five. You know what? All auctioneers must die. For I am Magic Goat. <laughs> Feel my wrath, I am Magic Goat. Get out of my head, auction man! Oh god. Yeah, you hear that bork? Did you guys hear that bork? I heard that bork. Oh, buddy. Oh, you hear that bork? Hey, I'm five to seven now. How about number five? I'm still gonna get a rifle two, and I'm gonna have two, number three, and then I'm gonna send it. Have to have the opposite because if I sound any fatty, and I'm doing them three, and four, and five, and three, and four, and I'm gonna do it, say it, and do it, and another, and another three, and. Whoa, where are we here now? Woo! Okay, cool. Whoa. Defeat the giant pet ant. Wait, what is this nerd saying? Uh oh. Giant pet ant. Holy shit! Okay. Whoa. That is. That is one giant ant. And we've defeated the shit out of it. Okay. Defeat the old goat in Old Goat Mountain. Wait, what is this guy saying? That's right. It was totally a test to see if you were worthy. It's the king. You just might be the hero we need to defeat the tyrant Old Goat. Go to Old Goat Mountain and seek out your nemesis, Mighty Goat. Okay. The Old Goat Menace. <laughs> uh, the, I love this. This... This is just, this is a great game. It's the perfect game. You know, it's, and I mean it this time. I honestly, I mean it this time. Okay. All right, to Old Goat Mountain we go. <laughs> okay, uh, look at this guy. <laughs> Launch that nerd. Launched that nerd. Um okay, so where do we go to get to old goat mountain? Do we go back this way? It must be right. What happens if we go over here? Oh! Oh. We are... Now underwater. Okay. <laughs> Incredible! It's so lifelike! Oh, there's an invisible wall here. Damn. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, game. Let's have it your way. Your invisible walls. Up we go. Um. Oh wow! I guess I'm a wanted, a wanted man, a wanted goat. Where do we? How do I know where the Old Goat Mountain is? Where is Old Goat Mountain? Can I go this way? I wish to go out, please, sir. Maybe I do have to leave. Get the old goat and old goat mount. All right. Sprint one on walls. Then W and S to manual. Okay. Oh look, it's Satan! 
Look at Satan's lagging out. That's his name, it's Satan. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go to Old Goat Mountain. That seems like an important thing. Fight the Old Goat Menace. Okay, so here we are in Twist Room. Whoa! What the hell is that? Frig you, man. Frig you! Gotcha. Gotcha. Dumbledore. Okay, so where's Old Goat Mountain? Huh? Huh? Oh, look at this. It's a cemetery. <laughs> There's a fish! Oh my god, they were burying a fish! Oh, that's so good. Whoa! Whoa. Ha! Oh my god, this is... Whoa, cool! Alvesta! Whoa, look at this! Fancy little, uh... Fantastic place. Okay, what is going on here? What the hell is that? Are these elves? This is insane. What is going on here? Oh my god. This is... This is bizarre, man. <laughs> so good. Okay. Very cool. Hey, a quest from Elatharian Long Name. Serenity to you, Moonstrider. Some monster has decided to drive the dodo extinct. We have to save them. Bring them to the magic circle close to the sheep artillery. Nothing goes extinct on our watch. Okay. Dabomination. Bring dead dodos to the magic circle. Okay, what is that? What does that sound? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? Jordan Hansen, what is going on, bud? These elves do know how to party. This is wow. As you were, folks. Don't don't mind me. Jordan Hansen's still going though. What the fuck, man? <laughs> ah! These elves are so wacky. Look at this guy too. Oh my god. This is... This is insane. What have we got here? Hello? What was that? One of twenty. Some sort of goat statue. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is insane! The elves, some of them walk on all fours. Okay, that's just what we've learned today. That is incredible. Okay. Uh, where to next, folks? Hmm. Alright. Okay. So. 
we haven't been over here. Let's go take a look here. What is this? Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. The perfect game, everyone. A giraffe head. All right, saving that to inventory. Here we go. Soda. Hello. Mind if I do? Okay. It's just like in this medieval town. There's just an industrial exhaust fan there. Wait, wait a minute here. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? What? <laughs> oh my god, we've reached some sort of mainframe, folks. What is this soda? What is going on here? Grab that soda. No, I don't. Uh, this is incredible. Plot twist, everybody. What is going on with the soda? This is. I am. This is blowing my mind right now, folks. I did not see this coming. I was convinced. This goat simulator is so realistic. I was convinced that we were in a medieval world. And then here we are, and around the corner, it's just like an office. Like a modern office with a man that we murdered by accident. I guess that would be manslaughter. Goat slaughter? I don't know. I don't know, man. This is blowing my mind right now. This is... This is a lot to process, folks. I'm, I'm really, I'm really kind of speechless right now. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oops. Okay. Where to next? Okay. Um, let's get out of this twisted elf world and let's go to I don't know some other twisted world <laughs> um, how the hell did I even get here man how did I get in here I go over here Oops, is this an invisible wall? No, okay, good. Wow. Oh. Pretty cool, okay. How high up can I get? That might be an invisible wall. Okay. Well, that was insane. <laughs> Okay. This is I think this is how we got in here. What's going on here now? What? This game just makes so much sense to me, you know? Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Deep water scares me. It's scary to me. How do I get up? Okay, here we go. Wow. 
What a trip, folks. What a trip. Whoa! Hostile goats! Invading Twistrum. Get him, get him. Get him, gotcha. Holy crap. Oh, man. Wow, what, what a trip, dudes. <laughs> oh my god. It's the perfect game. It's the perfect game. We finally, finally found it. Ah, <laughs> quite an adventure. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, all right, folks. All right, do a couple shoutouts and then it's freaking gooby time. I, I'm so excited. I can't wait for some gooby time, folks. Oh. All right, here we go. Um, where did we leave off now? Where did we leave off? Um. <laughs> rain, 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 rain. <laughs> Valkyria. <laughs> Just, just fourths, baby. Nothing but fourths. There it is. <laughs> um, all right, Va uh, Rain Valkyria. Thank you so much. Uh, the Twerp Show. Ow! Isn't a cult, says Rain Valkyria. It's clearly a pyramid scheme. You see, right? I. Now you're thinking because pyramid. It's a close, is a, 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 a close relative to the cone, which is a close relative to ascension. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, what is the best prank I have ever played? Man, I tell you what, I am, I am bad at pranks. I am bad at pranks because it just doesn't it just doesn't read well with me. Whenever I think I'm like, oh, I'm pulling a great prank, it comes across as mean, and I feel so bad. Uh, like it's the same it's the same kind of thing where like when I'm like around you know there are certain certain people like you got friends I'm sure you, you guys have all known people who like their sense of humor is like you know. They're kind of like a, a jerk or like they're like or their family like that's their thing is they're like always ribbing each other and they're always like playing jokes and pranks and like ripping each other up well when i try to do that i i just i'm mean like i i, I come i can't do it right i don't know if it's the delivery or something i can't i can't be mean i like i, I can't do that I, I can't do it well because it always reads wrong so i don't really do Pranks very much. Um, although there was this one time, this one time on tour where we got Phobos really good. We spooked him good because we stayed in. Uh, we stayed. We were playing in Chicago and we stayed in this, the world or the America's most haunted hotel. I forget what it was called. Like, the, uh, just look it up. Uh, the, it's in like downtown Chicago, like. Uh, confederation something or something i can't remember but anyway i i don't i don't want to tell i don't want to go into detail about that that's that's, that's just a, a funny a funny thing for us but we, we spooked the hell out of him we spooked the hell out of him uh anyway uh onwards we must go oh shutting it out 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 Skull. Skull. Me. Hey, thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Skull wants to say to Cthulhu the Hoable, you're a menace. But the good kind. But the good kind. <laughs> um, yeah, right on. on. Onwards we go. Hey. Oh, a space kid, thank you so much. Um, if I want to continue, continue on the silly game train, look into jazz punk. Ooh, jazz punk. Hmm. Silly games, eh? Silly games kind of my thing lately kind of my thing yep <laughs> uh, I'll, ta I'll take a look into that thank you space kid uh, upper uh, onwards and upwards we go to <laughs> I know I may have I may have said some inflammatory things about uh, the bard class today, uh, and for that I do apologize. Uh, Clockwork Bard says bards are one of the best classes, actually. Um, so I, you know, I I express only my own opinions, and I I, I myself am a bard, uh, so I, I I meant no offense. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Clockwork Bard. Oh, hey, look at this. What we got here? How do I say this? Aw. <coughs> cheese eye pastel, cheese eye pastel. Cheese eye pastel, cheese eye pastel. Thank you, cheese eye pastel. Cheese. Okay, I hope I said that right. Cheese eye pastel. Ch Chizé? Chizé Pastel? It's a new nerd, though, folks. We got ourselves a new nerd. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, and <clears throat> they say, uh, living in Australia and your state is in stage four lockdown. I heard that Australia is in some insane level of lockdown right now. Uh, so I, I hope you're staying safe out there. Um, I'm glad Twerp can be helping out, and I'm glad the streams can be helping out as well. Uh, thank you so, so much, Chizai Pastel. Damn. Oh! Chai, Chai, Chai Sai. Chai Sai? Is that how you say that? Been here for months, but never said anything. Well, thank you so much. It's great to hear from you. Thank you so much for uh, for being here and for uh, for finally piping up, you know? Well, welcome. Welcome to chat. <laughs> uh, thanks so much. And uh, I hope I hope you're staying sane and safe and I'm, I'm glad that uh, that we're, we're you're finding a way. Cheese eye. Cheese eye. Okay, got it. Cheese eye. Cheese eye pastel. Nailed it. Nailed it. Very good. Thank you so much. <laughs> in my room, baby, 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 in my room, baby. Thank you so much. Ooh, a fun goat story. Ooh. Um, in my room, baby says, my uncle owns a goat farm, and once I was visiting in my childhood, uh, once when I was visiting in my childhood, he held a baby goat up for me. To see, and it kicked you, kicked me straight in the face, and almost broke my nose. Wow! And that's when, yeah, that's when, that's when you decided they were your favorite animal. Well, you know what? Forgive and forget. That's that's Enviro Baby's motto when it comes to goats. I think we can learn a lot about your 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 stance on goats. <laughs> Thank you so much. Clockwork bard. Uh, 
Clock required says, picture this. A ring pop, a ring pop, but a meatball instead of candy? Nah, nah, dude, nah, dude. Nah, no nah, thanks, dude. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now that is, that is a $100 idea right there. I, I've, nah. <laughs> Oh man, you is is this? Did you say that because of my my derogatory uh, comments towards bards earlier? I'm, I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> All right, onwards we go. Zero, 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 Oh hell yes, Shiro! The the nerd, uh, Big Trouble in Little China movie night is set up for Friday. Oh my god, incredible! <laughs> and you're also watching the Genetic Opera on Saturday. I've never heard of that. Huh? Cool. Uh, I'll have to. Uh, I got to learn more about this. But uh, hell yeah, that is so rad. <laughs> That there's a group watching of uh, of Big Trouble in Little China going on by you nerds out there. I love it, and honestly, I'm jealous. <laughs> um, amazing. Huh? Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Skull, thank you so much. And you know what? Thank you for thank you for sharing that. It's a little little bit little bit of sappiness. Appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Uh, and I will say that there is a there is on the upcoming album, uh, one hundred percent a uh, spiritual sequel to Life Party. Yes. Yes, I will say that. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, onwards we go. Leechy smoothies, leechy smoothie, leechy smoothies, leechy smoothie. Yeah, thank you, leechy smoothie. Yep. Leechy smoothie. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate. I honestly appreciate. Those kind words. Um, I love you and you write beautiful lyrics. That's that's a lovely thing to say. Thank you very much, Lichi. Ah, uh, um, funny that I just funny that I was just talking about life party sequels. In terms, uh, talk, you know, perfect segue into uh, beautiful lyrics. Um, <laughs> or something. Uh, thank you, Lichi. All right. Uh, and onwards we go. Crystal lenses, crystal lenses, crystal lenses, crystal lens, crystal lenses, crystal lenses, crystal lens. Oh yeah, thank you, crystal lens. Crystal lens. One more question for the road from Crystal Lens. Uh, do you think you will ever play the drums for us? Asks Crystal Lens. Um. I I want to. Uh, honestly, it really depends on kind of my uh, living situation, really. Uh, I I sold the drums that used to be right there behind me. I sold them uh, because, like I mentioned, I am uh, moving again, again. <sighs> so I need to be unburdened. <laughs> But here's the thing. Those drums, they sucked. Anyway, I got them for like 250 bucks. There, it was just a beater kit. So it's not a big loss. And perhaps in Canada, perhaps in Canada, I will have a, finally a place that I live in that I can make noise in. For realsies, you know? Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. 
Uh, I would love to though. I would love to do a a drum stream or like incorporate that into like the cone zone. Perhaps someday. Perhaps someday. Uh, but thank you very much, everybody. Wow, we are all caught up. We we got some <laughs> did some real exciting stuff in Goat Simulator today. Hack. <laughs> It just just such a good time <laughs> so fun um, okay right now folks it is time for the goobermeister you bet your buttons you bet your bottom dollar we got gooby time coming up uh, yeah we got possessed by an auctioneer yes hey I have this kind of a two and then I'll come to two and a three and I'll find it's never a who and never did even I've had this new to who anyway uh, we've already been there we don't need to relive that trauma uh, all right, it's doggo time. Get ready for the gooby. All right, I'll be right back, folks. I'll pump some jams while while we're waiting. So, um, keep it fresh. I'll be back in uh, two two to three shakes of a lamb's tail of a goat's tail. Yes, yes, not right. There we go. Be right back, folks. Look at this guy smiling. Look at him. Hey, buddy. Are you a hot boy? You a hot dog? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, please. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, he was just sunning himself. You know, it's a bad thing when, uh, when your dog is more tanned than you are. <laughs> Honestly, what, Gooby's favorite pastime is catching some rays I, I swear he's he loves to just sun himself get that little get that some air under that one of those neck wrinkles face rub. He nuzzles right into it. <laughs> Such a good boy, right? You know what? He's a bit of a spaz, though. He's a good boy right now, but he's a bit of a spaz. Sometimes on walks. He really, really does not like skateboards, let me tell you. And I live next to a skate park. I think he thinks that... I think it's the, the sound of the skateboards that he doesn't like. Because you know how, like, a skateboard, like, makes like a... It's almost like a rattling, like, uh... Almost like a growling sound. I think he thinks it's growling at him. And so he barks... 
like like a freaking he barks like a freaking barker man he's he's barking like crazy he barks at those those, those skaters like like it's nobody's business you know yeah he is he does not care for the skateboard i'm tempted to just like get myself a skateboard and poorly skateboard around just to like climatize him <laughs> to being around skateboarders or something because when he's on a walk and like he a skateboarder zooms by he's he's he loses his mind I tell you He definitely prefer, prefers segways. He doesn't. He loves a good strike tron, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe I can. Maybe I can teach Gooby how to. How to. Uh, skateboard. Uh, himself, you know. Faces fears, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Bobby. He is a hot boy, though, man. Look at that. <laughs> his his wrinkles are even more exaggerated when he's when he's uh panting like this, you know? minute shout outs uh, I'm just gonna read these out agent dag thank you so much uh, can Gooby see the laser pointers I don't know I I haven't tried <laughs> I would love it if he did <laughs> he chases flies around the house so I would I would imagine that a, that a, a little red dot would would interest him as well. <laughs> and Hope Locked, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm glad you were able to at least catch the end of the stream there. Thank you. Going back to work, teaching tomorrow. Good luck out there and be safe. You are. You are a hero. <laughs> All right. All righty, folks. Uh, I forgot to grab I forgot to grab treats so he's just I mean he, he doesn't need treats to, to be a good boy he's just hanging out he just enjoys just enjoys the the attention you know but this would be the time where I I give him treats if I had him uh, because folks this is the end of the cone zone for today <clears throat> Good people, good people. Uh, so, to recap here, um, we are taking this weekend off from the uh, from the twerp show, uh, and I am not streaming on Friday night. So we will be back in the cone zone on Tubes Day of next week. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's a busy week, folks. Busy week. Lots of exciting shit going down. Uh, so yeah, 
hope uh i hope everybody stays safe stays sane and stays rad over the next week good people it's gonna be like the longest time not streaming for uh for quite a while um so but we'll we'll get back to it on uh on tuesday everybody want to say goodbye well, i'm almost done here <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there he is. All right, everybody. Oh, and I'm holding up his. You see this? He just wanted a headrest, and I've got my hand here. <laughs> I love you, buddy. You're a good boy. So good. Oh, so good. So good. Oh. Man. All right. <laughs> oh my god, I love him so much! I love him so much! <laughs> okay, people. Be excellent to yourselves. Be excellent to each other. And before you know it, we'll be back here in the cone zone. We'll see you uh, one week from now. On Tuesday of next week, we'll be back. And I won't forget my doctor's appointment. Not this time. Learned my lesson. <laughs> All right, yes. Everybody, be good out there. And uh, have fun with the uh, watching those movies this weekend. There's uh, everyone in chat. There is a Big Trouble in Little China viewing being organized by... Some nerds out there in chat. That's uh, just saying. Could be a fun activity. My favorite movie required watching. Go to yourselves. All right. All right. Everybody, thank you so much. I'll be seeing you next week. Take care of yourselves out there. Do you want to say goodbye, buddy? Look, you should goodbye over there. Focus. He says goodbye. All right. See you later, folks.